I get pulled over May 21st of this year while I'm driving my 2016 Lamborghini Huracan. Can I see your driver's license, please? Yeah, sure. City of Beverly Hills Police Department personal complaint. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to, well, kind of a normal vlog back here in British Columbia, Canada. I have a few more days before I head back down to California for the start of our drive to Monterey for Car Week. And I have an update for you, probably a long awaited update for most of you who have seen my Beverly Hills police encounter and I can tell you all about what's happening with this ticket and where the complaint is currently at. But look at this hair. Whoa. Did you see that? I did. I literally just knocked the camera into the air, out of my hand, completely out of my hand. You don't even know your own strength. And I caught it. Whew. Okay. Okay, yeah, right. I gotta go get a haircut. So we're gonna go do some stuff and at some point I can sit down when uh, we have enough time, I can go over what's going on with the BHPD complaint situation. After you ladies. What are you coloring? Oh, it does have an apple on its head. Okay, we're gonna have a coloring contest. You guys, we're having a quick bite to eat. I got a haircut in about an hour. She's got, she's got her heart set on having pizza. And now, and now she's smiling. You know what? It's always good to have a happy five-year-old. Kind of rip around Victoria, do a few things. Shortly after the haircut, I will get right to explaining everything that happened with myself and the officer at Beverly Hills. Uh, we actually had a second run-in. I'm just gonna leave you with that at the moment and I'll fill you in on all the details shortly. But for now, I gotta attend to this one because she keeps wanting to jump into it. What do you got? Lunch is over. Jump back in the Range Rover, head over to Victory Barber and get this mop I have of a haircut. Cut. Good one. I'll see you guys in a minute. Thanks for visiting Habit. Got me a little uh, iced latte and I gotta go into Victory and get my haircut. The moose, the moose. I have a haircut. Pow! What do you guys think? I look good? I look good? How do I look? Okay. I look yeah. good. So fresh. What's up? Okay, we gotta continue on. Cause I gotta tell these guys all about the ticket. What happened with the Beverly Hills police ticket, complaint, the whole thing. There is, there is a conclusion. Do you wanna know if it's in my favor or not in my favor? That's what you wanna know. So let me deal with the fam and we'll find a nice place to sit down and talk about this. Okay guys, here we go, main event. Thumbnail and title content coming at you now. I'm gonna give you an update as to what's happening with the ticket I got in Beverly Hills on May 21st and the complaint that I filed at the police department that night after I got the ticket on the officer. I get pulled over May 21st of this year while I'm driving my 2016 Lamborghini Huracan. Can I see your driver's license, please? Yeah, sure. The officer uh, comes up to my window. I ask him why he pulled me over. He says, I ran a stop sign, which I did not. I tell him I did not run a stop sign. He obviously asked me for my driver's license and my registration, which I give to him. What brings you to California, man? Excuse me? I said, what brings you to California? Why would that be any of your business? I'm just hanging out. Because you have a Canada driver's license? You don't have a, where's your California driver's license? 
after review of my driver's license, he asks me where my California driver's license is. I told him I don't need a California driver's license. He says, yes, I do. I don't live here. I give you a Canadian driver's license. So that's license. exactly what I'm trying to figure out. You're giving me smart answers, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of something. It's not a smart answer. I don't. Is. You're not. You're not customs. I don't need to explain to you why I'm here. Okay. So you need a California driver's license to drive in California. No, you don't. Anyhow, you guys can go watch the video. He writes me a ticket. Okay, and the tickets for not having a valid California driver's license. Um, just so you guys know, I'm Canadian. I have a valid Canadian driver's license, and that's completely legal anywhere in the United States. So long, just so you guys know this, for all my fellow Canadians, so long as you don't have any outstanding traffic tickets that have not been paid and are overdue, because then you are likely banned in whatever state you got that traffic ticket. And if you were banned in one state, you are actually banned in every state. So you can have a valid Canadian driver's license because your license can be valid back at home here in Canada, but you can be banned in the United States from driving even with a valid license. So that's the one thing you need to know. However, in this circumstance, I don't have any of that going on. I just have a valid driver's license and I have no outstanding tickets in anywhere in the United States, okay? So you guys know that, but I wanted to add that in. At the end of this traffic ticket, officer follows it up with, after he serves it to me, with, I need to leave the area because my car is subject to tow. So with that being said, your car, your car is subject to tow. What? Why? Because you're driving your own license in California. I can do that. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. I have a Canadian driver's license. It's not illegal to drive here with that. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. So my suggestion to you is I'm not going to tow your car. I'm letting you know that your car is subject to tow. Okay? So with that being said, I suggest that you probably go and park your car somewhere and not drive anymore. And I was like, excuse me? And he said, yeah, because you're, dri you're not driving on a valid license, your car is subject to tow. So because I was on a valid license, but he felt that what, like he, for whatever reason, strongly felt that I had to have a California driver's license. Either he didn't know, or it was like a harassing type of thing. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I felt threatened. I didn't really feel safe in that situation. I felt like I didn't really understand what was going on or how he didn't know that I was allowed to drive. And now he's threatening me to leave the area of Beverly Hills when I'm just coming into it to go for dinner with my friends. And I, you know, didn't like this situation. So I know my rights. I knew that, you know, instead of arguing with him over the ticket, he ain't going to take it back. And instead of going and parking my car for the rest of the night, I was going to leave the area I was in and go to the police department in Beverly Hills because it was actually only probably four or five blocks down the road from where I got pulled over and I was going to file a complaint. And here's why I did that, just so you know. I filed a formal complaint so that I had everything while it was fresh in my mind documented because I was going to have to obviously fight this ticket because it wasn't lawful. But I furthermore felt in that moment that I was having not just these unlawful tickets, but then intimidation tactics for me to leave the area and not drive my car there being leveraged off of this unlawful thing. So I wanted to just get a formal complaint filed so that one, they could educate the officer. Two, I had it all on record while it was fresh in my mind. And three, I had some evidence to use at a later date to fight the ticket if I had to fight it in court or hire a lawyer, I don't know. Now, here's what happened. I have not had any phone calls or letters in regards to the complaint. However, in a very bizarre set of circumstances, I'm in Beverly Hills with my friends and we end up in this situation where one of my friends is having a confrontational moment with an, a third party and the police get involved. So police officers get called. Three officers show up to the scene. This is two blocks over from Rodeo Drive and we're standing on the sidewalk and one of the three officers is the officer that wrote me this ticket. Talk about awkward. Through about an hour of talking between my friend and this third party and the police basically trying to like mediate on the sidewalk, it comes to, you know, a, it comes to be pretty apparent that I'm not needed to stand there to try to help resolve these other people's problem. And they don't need three officers. So I say to Officer Pena, who wrote me my ticket, would you be willing to step aside and just talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, off camera, of course, you know, just about, you know, kind of what happened. And he said, yeah, absolutely. First thing I do is I kind of say, you know, I just want you to know my intent was never to have any like harm come to you online or like bad things said about you. I, I really just wanted to uphold my rights 
And for you to learn that Canadians can drive on Canadian driver's licenses. So in some way, I was trying to apologize for a lot of the mean stuff people say on the internet. People say mean things. I'm used to it. People say mean stuff in comments in, in my videos all the time. I have a thick skin. It just comes with the territory, but I didn't know if he felt the same way or if he felt that that video attached to me and those mean things were somehow you know, indirectly attached to me. I just wanted to clear the air, I guess, in some way. So I say to him these things and I say, you know, I'm sorry that some really mean things got said online in the comments. Um, it's the internet and it just comes with that territory. I also want him to know that I had a huge and deep respect for, for law enforcement and what they go through and the crazy, awful things they deal with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And I simply film all traffic stops because it's my A, my right, and B, because I'm an automotive vlogger. It's drama, to be honest. People like, you guys like to watch traffic stops. Let's face it, we all like a good cop video, even if it's not totally nuts. It works for the channel as well. I just didn't realize this one was gonna work as well as it did. And I said, honestly, I don't know what's going on with the ticket or the complaint. I, I don't know if you know anything. And he said, yeah, actually, I, I wanted to let you know that the charges is what he called them on here, the charges, have been dropped, so all charges. So this ticket is done, apparently, and taken care of. He told me that verbally. I don't have anything in writing. And this is where I feel like it's a little weird. You know, he's just telling me this, and it's not like we had an appointment or he reached out to me. I just, I ran into him through this other situation on the side of the road at like almost 3 a.m. in the morning. And um, apparently that ticket's gone, but I feel like you know, on some level, I feel like, you know, I shouldn't just like take his word for it. I should follow up, make sure it is actually gone. And number two, I had no update on the complaint, right? I mean, I filed this whole complaint and no one's contacted me about it or any of it. So here I am standing on the side of the road in Beverly Hills talking to this officer. We have a great conversation. It's very calm and, you know, like we're just talking like a couple of guys and he even word for word says you seem like a really reasonable dude you know i guess you know this is just this the circumstances of that situation are what they are and here we are today let's move on right and and i agreed with him you know like hey man when i see you, i want to just like you know give you the little like hey what's up and um and i have a few times while i've been in beverly hills since so that's the update on the ticket it's apparently gone i do need to follow up and make sure 100 i have something i guess tangible proof that it is but i take his word for it and uh i don't know what's going on as far as the complaint goes no one's called me all i really wanted from this like i said was to have it documented um and also to kind of hold up my rights and to say you know like i'm not i'm not just i'm not going to be pushed around um when i know something is being enforced on me that isn't right i'm going to enforce what I can in the right ways back on that person. And that's why I filed that, that complaint. However, I don't know if it did a single thing. Um, I don't know if, what I should say is, I don't know if this did anything. I feel like the video definitely did all the work for me here. What's my advice I would say to people driving in the United States um, or Canada or anywhere? I think if you get pulled over, you should film your traffic stop with your phone, record the whole thing, make sure whatever country you're in that that is legal. I'm not, I don't assume that that's legal everywhere, but definitely in Canada it is, uh, definitely in the United States it is. Film your traffic stop so that if something happens, something goes sideways, you have the evidence. If you feel that uh, improper police conduct has occurred, uh, you can, you have the right to file a complaint. Takes a bit of time, but you have to see it through. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button, you guys. When I get some more updates on this, I will inform you. Monterey Car Week's coming up. I will be back in California with my Canadian driver's license in uh, four short days with a whole reveal of the air suspension by Sadistic uh, Ironworks. Super excited for that. I'm gonna go in and chill with the wifey for the rest of the night. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, you guys. We're getting closer and closer to a million subs. So if you guys find one of your favorite videos on DD and share it with someone you know who loves car videos, I would love that. DD strong, man. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.